Hello guys, today we'll analyze Conan Exiles. Released in January 2017 by Funcom Studios, this open world survival game is set on a medieval era where building, exploration and fighting goes hand to hand. Now the team at Funcom Studios is working 24-7 to bring the game up to speed with updates, bug fixes and new content. With 10,000 reviews so far on Steam, it's hard to understand if this game will succeed in the gaming community since there is a mix of feelings towards the game. Now Conan Exile supports both single player and multiplayer. If you decide to host a server in single player, there are a couple of things that I advise you to do before you start playing. Keep in mind that you are still hosting a server, so if you create a username and password later on, as long as you are online and playing on the server, your friends can join you, as long as you provide the correct details. In PvP, you are going to have two options. Either you go to a, an official Funcom server, where all the settings from XP, gathering, etc. is set to 1, or you can go to a third party that is providing you with the server a different set of rules and a different set of gathering. Keep in mind that if you choose to go to an official server there is no active admin there to sort out any issues that you might encounter. Either construction glitches, hacking or guys using exploits in game. Now if you decide to go to a third party provider there is a high chance you'll find a moderator or an admin online while playing The character customization in Conan Exiles is quite wide and you can create quite a unique individual that will stand out in the crowd. Let me just warn you that Conan Exiles supports a full nudity system for the characters. Now Funcom did a really good job with the building system of Conan Exiles. The system they have set in place in the game is actually one of the best I've seen so far and similar ones. After you have your own place and you feel adventurous, Conan Exiles is a world ready for you to explore. From caves full of hairy creatures, a giant pirate ship made out of stone standing in the middle of the desert, a city full of god worshippers, pits where dragons reside inside and a lost city where to explore it you'll need to acquire a special talent. Now one of the coolest features Funcom implemented in Conan is the troll system. Trolls are simply NPCs in Conan Exiles that can be used as servants, either working on crafting stations or as lookouts guarding buildings that you own. And the way to acquire the trolls is quite simple and straightforward. You go to an NPC camp, you knock them out, you drag them to your base and you put them inside something called the Wheel of Pain. Funcom has a very ambitious vision for Conan Exiles and how the trolls will complement the game. They are trying to implement a type of AI so your trolls can do chores around your base, such as open and close doors, patrol the base and even respond to orders while in battle. Another tool that you can use for war against other players are gods. So going back to the character creation. You have an option to choose one of four gods that exist in game, but only three of them as a physical presence in the world. Now to summon the gods, it varies depending on the one that you pick, but normally you need to do offerings to their altars in order to receive their blessings. But not everything is sweet in Conan Exiles, and for some the game was launched in a very early stage of development. And the lack of content and optimization in-game has prevented some players to enjoy the full extent of the game. Now, my final thoughts on Conan Exiles is that I personally have put around 300 hours into this game. I had fun playing it when it was launched. Maybe in the future, when they introduce mounts and more biomes to the game, I will be back to play it and give you guys an update on the current state of the game. But in its current state, I don't think it's worth buying Conan Exiles. And that's all for today, guys. If you enjoy the content, please leave a like and drop a comment on the box below since your feedback is important to me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and share the content on your social media.